Hi, welcome again. Uh, this is going to be the first in two parts of a tutorial around how to do a watermark for your photographs uh, for Corel PaintShop Pro X9. Uh, there will be a couple of ways to apply watermarks to your photographs. One is individually and the other is uh, with a script and then you can also do them in a batch. Uh, so you can run the script on a number of photographs within a given folder. But the first step, of course, is to make yourself a watermark. So this part of the tutorial is just going to be around how to make a basic watermark. So I'll open a new page here. Just going to do 1024768. I had actually already prepared one there. So what I'm going to do first of all is I will grab some text. So grab your text tool over here. Uh, and you can set your colors up beforehand. I'm going to actually just click this this button here, which just basically sets it to black and white. Uh, and I'm just going to put some text. I'm just going to put, uh, I'll do my, uh, my logo, which is RabSP, okay? And I'll grab that, and I'll make that about that big. Okay, but I do an SP on the end, and the SP is two different colors, right? So I'll grab one text tool here, and I'll do an S. Okay, grab the pointer tool, and I'll bring it down here, and I'll resize it so it's the same size. Okay, it's going to get the same size. Okay, so it's, oh, now it's too big. Uh, it's roughly the same size. Okay, I'll put that here like this. The reason I'm doing this as separate letters is because I usually make them different colors and I also angle my P. So now, of course, I'll make my P again about the same size. That's a little bit, a fraction too big. Okay, so now we'll color them. And what I'll do with this is I will make my fill color, which is this one here. So it's on your right mouse button. So I'll just choose on my palette over here, I'll make that a greeny sort of color, maybe. Okay, right mouse button again in the middle there. Uh, I'll choose my P, and I want my P to be a blue. Um, so I want it to be a fairly bright blue. Uh, maybe make that over here. Okay, so that's about what I want. So then I'll move my P up here, and I want my P at a slight angle. Now, I did previously make this with Corel Draw, um, and I actually intertwined them when I do them, but, but this will be all right for this. Then what I do is I just click over here on the background. I have to change the name. I just so change it from background. That allows me to delete that. So I delete that layer and say yes to that. What you end up here with now, of course, is no background. That's the checkered pattern. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to grab my cropping tool and make sure it's on freeform so you can select whatever size you want. Just click on yes, and there I have it. So that's how I created a basic watermark uh, and basically this is the one I made beforehand which looks very similar so the two do look very similar this is the one I've been using for a long time now what I do is take your watermark and save it as when you save it as make sure you save it as a PSP image okay you have lots of different things you can choose from here but make sure you save this as a PSP image and where I've saved it is under my documents, Corel PaintShop Pro 19, and I created a directory called Watermarks, okay, and I placed it in there, and I called it Watermark White. I also have a black version as well, but I haven't used that here. So that's the first step in creating uh, or doing your watermark automation is to create the watermark and so that's where we're at here we have now created our watermark hope you come back for part two and i'll show you how to add it in and use it with everything else
within Corel Paint Shop Pro X9 with automation.